Taurus, thanks for being here. This is your weekly reading for the November the 6th to November the 12th. If you like this reading, please like or subscribe or make a comment if you'd like to. Um, I have everything shuffled and ready, so let's start your reading for Taurus. So the first card you have you passed is the King of Wands. So I'm seeing that um, you've been a bit frustrated because um, there were some things that you set out to do and you have started some of these things, but you weren't able to finish them, so it's really frustrating. You can feel that you really want to push ahead with them, but something's stopping you. So um, some of them you ran out of time and you couldn't finish them in time, but there were some things that um, you just had mental blocks about doing them. So it's like you knew you had to do these things, but you're procrastinating. And you know, you had no reason to. You could have finished these things, but you had some, every time you went to do them, you had this horrible feeling that, oh, I won't do this now, I'll do something else. So you're, pro you're procrastinating and you're actually really frustrated with yourself at this time. Um, yes. So. And the next card you have your past is the Wheel of Fortune. So this is about someone around you. Um, and you'd be wanting to ask this person something. Um, but again, I'm seeing some procrastination here again um, with this because you're actually fearing, um, you're worried about their reaction if you ask them. But if you haven't already asked them, um, I'm just seeing that you'll get a feeling soon when it will be the right time. And you'll know, your instincts will tell you when it's the right time to ask this person. And yet the perfect time will come soon. I just keep on seeing the perfect time will come for you to ask them and you'll know exactly when this is and you'll get a good result when you ask them. Um, so the last card you have your past is the Nine of Wands. So yes, this is showing me that um, you knew that you actually knew that that wasn't the right time. So you have very good instincts at this time. Your instincts were telling you that this is the wrong time to ask this person. And again, you'll know exactly when this right time will be. I keep on seeing that. And I'm also seeing that, what I'm seeing is you had two people around you at this time. And actually one of these person found you attractive. One of these people found you attractive. And I don't know if you realize this or not, but they did. And there was another person around you and you were really annoyed by this other person and they were annoyed by you too. So it's this kind of person that you'd never ever, you just never get along with them. You're just so, so different. So you had these two conflicting things around you. You had one person who liked you and was attracted to, the, to you and the other who felt the opposite way. Um, but I'm seeing with this annoying person, you had to be around each other for some reason. So maybe there was someone you were working with, um, but you couldn't avoid this person. You had to see this person. That's what I've seen. So the first card you have your present is strength. So yes. So, okay, so don't be angry with me, but um, I'm just seeing that maybe you could be overdoing things at this time. So maybe you're overeating, maybe you're over drinking, um, or there could be some other habit you don't want to be doing, but you feel compelled to do this thing. So just watch out for that um, thing. Just watch out, try and you know, be aware of what you're doing before you start it. Don't go too far into it. Try and stop yourself. Try and do all these things. But that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing, that that's what you're doing. So also I'm just seeing that um, there's someone around you. And this could be a friend or a family member. Um, it could be someone you work with, but someone that's around you all the time. So you see them almost daily. Um, just be careful of this person because I'm seeing that they're pretending that they want to help you with something, some opportunity, something like that, but they're actually thinking about themselves. So they could be trying to sell you something or they could be trying to ask you to do something. So just be careful. I'm seeing something like some marketing thing or some joining some selling thing. So it's some, some, some dodgy thing like that you don't want to be involved in. That's what I'm seeing. Just, just watch out for this person. This person isn't a bad person, but they're involved in this thing and they want to get you involved into it too. So yes, I wouldn't if I were you. So the next card you have your present is the Four of Cups. So I'm seeing that there's someone, um, and this could be your partner actually, or someone you're talking to in a romantic way. And you put a hold on something. You put a hold on something with them. I'm seeing there's there's a stop. I'm seeing a stop. Sorry, I'm seeing a stop sign. So there's a stop that's been put on this because there's some kind of behavior they've been doing and you don't agree with something they've been doing. So you're moving away from this or you're stopping this or you're not happy with this person, but you're trying to stop them. There's something about stopping and something about a relationship and they're doing some behavior that you're not happy with. So 
you still care about this person, you're still really interested in this person, you don't want to completely leave them, but you're really conflicted about this because they're doing something you don't like and you want to put a stop to it. I keep seeing this stop all the time through this, you want to stop them from doing what they're doing. And yes, there's another person around you as well who could be interested in you romantically too, but you're not really seeing it because you're just focused on this person and what they're doing and trying to stop this person. So that's what I'm seeing here. So yes, the last card you have for your present is the Two of Swords. So again, this is about you um, and you're not sure what to do about this person in the Four of Cups who you're trying to stop this behavior. So you're not sure whether to actually keep on battling to try and stop them from doing this or whether you actually want to you know, move on from this person. But it's a big, big conflict because you do care about this person, that's what I'm seeing, but you're really unhappy about something they've done. So the first card you have for your future is the Five of Pentacles. So this can be a really, really sad card, but when I'm seeing it here, um, this is again about this person in the Four of Cups, so they keep coming up over and over again in this reading. So. I'm just seeing that they're going to be feeling like you're pushing them away and you actually are in a way even if you don't want to you are pushing them away because you're so unhappy with what they've done and I'm just sensing that they're not seeing what they've done they don't realize how serious it is or they don't realize how much it's upset you um, or they're not recognizing that they've done anything wrong with their behavior so it's something like that they're not realizing this and there is a way out of this behavior they can stop this if they want to or they can you know, do something about this, but they're not seeing this. They're very stubborn about this, but they want to keep going with this, or maybe there's some habit that they're involved in that they find it very difficult to stop. It could be something really serious, actually, and they just don't see it the way that you see it. That's what I'm seeing. So the next card you have for your future is the Four of Pentacles. So yes, a part of you wants to hold on to this person, but you're still really, really unhappy. You're feeling unhappy with the way um, they were behaving. So you're just going to want them to realize and even acknowledge it a bit. You know, you'd love them to apologize and stop this, but even if they acknowledge it at something, um, you want them to just acknowledge that they're doing something wrong. But I'm still not seeing that they're going to do this. They're not seeing this as seriously as you are. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have for your future is the Hierophant. So yes, Again, this is about this person. I'm sorry, I just keep on seeing this very, very, very strongly and clearly all the way through this reading about this person. Um, so this is a moral issue coming up with the Hierophant. Um, the Hierophant obviously is a religious figure, so there's a moral issue. You have a moral difference here. This way that they're behaving um, is going to just highlight the difference between you morally, so you have a different idea of right and wrong than they do. and. This is going to become really, really clear at this time to you. And yeah, I'm really sorry I'm seeing all this conflict with this person all the way through this. Um, it's just very, very clear to me. And I'm seeing that eventually, if you have this huge moral difference, eventually you probably will move on from this person. But at this point in time, you're still going to be struggling with this. That's what I'm seeing there. So Taurus, um, I hope this resonated. Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't a good one to resonate with you. But again, um, this is a general reading, so it won't always resonate with everyone, as I always say. But if you'd like, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. And thank you so much for watching.